Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and today I'll show you how to split your uh, object surfaces in KeyShot for applying uh, uh, different material. So uh, first of all, we'll create a very basic uh, cube in SolidWorks, and then uh, we'll export into KeyShot for uh, application of uh, uh, different material on the same cube. So let's go to here, New, uh, click Part, click OK, and now we are in SolidWorks interface. So uh, first of all, I'll change my background as usual to plain white, and uh, sorry, and uh, I'll select this top plane sketch, and uh, I'll go to center rectangle, and I'll create a very basic uh, rectangle, and uh, let's say the dimension is uh, uh, 180, and uh, this dimension will be uh, let's say 90 millimeter, right? And uh, now you can see that sketch is fully defined. Okay, so uh, I'll go to extrude, and uh, now I can extrude this model. Go to mid plane, and uh, I'll drag this handle to some let's say 70 millimeters. Okay, so uh, this is a very simple uh, cube, and uh, now I will apply some uh, material. Uh, uh, in KeyShot, right? So I'll export this uh, geometry to KeyShot, and I'll be using KeyShot Add-in. Go to Tools, go to KeyShot Add-in, uh, KeyShot 9, and send this model to KeyShot. Uh, remember that uh, this is a, a single model, a separate. Uh, uh, sorry, this is a single solid body. So when I will apply material to uh, this cube, so uh, KeyShot will apply a uh, single material to this whole cube, right? Uh, you can see that uh, this the uh, uh, the shadow at the uh, mid of this cube. So I'll change it. I'll click here uh, and uh, I'll select this move part and uh, just drag uh, 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 drag on the uh, uh, z-axis uh, and uh, now we'll click here snap to ground. Right now you can see this. Uh, the shadows are proper, right? Just click OK. Uh, now, uh, let's say uh, I'll go to some material and uh, solid glass, I think plastic, and uh, under plastic, hard plastic, so you can see uh, properly. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, when I drag uh, uh, material to this uh, cube, so this uh, material, this material uh, hard texture uh, plastic black is applied on this whole cube, right? Let's say I don't want uh, this uh, material uh, to be applied on this whole cube, but I want this material to be applied on this face, on this top face, right? Uh, I cannot do it, right? Uh, the only way which I can uh, apply material on this top face is to split your geometry, right? Uh, either you can do it in your uh, CAD program, let's say I was you. Uh, uh, I was using SOLIDWORKS, so uh, you will go to SOLIDWORKS and uh, uh, you will uh, separate that uh, surface in SOLIDWORKS and then you can uh, export this uh, uh, model to KeyShot so that KeyShot knows that this is a, uh, 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 these are separate surfaces so uh, uh, I can uh, apply uh, material on, uh, on the separate surfaces, right? But this time KeyShot doesn't know, right? So I will go to here and uh, I will use this option split object surfaces, right? Uh, so I will click here. And uh, now I can select, uh, let's say, this surface. Now you can see that uh, it is split at 45 degree angle. And uh, let's say I want to split uh, this surface and this surface as well. But you have to uh, apply Shift key while uh, splitting these surfaces, right? So uh, uh, Control Shift key and uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, hold uh, hold down Control key, not Shift key, and select this, right? Uh, but I think I uh, I want <laughs> this surface separate, so I'll select uh, sp split surface. So now this surface is, is splitted, and uh, now I will select this. And uh, yeah, you have to click this uh, button, split surface. And uh, let's say I want this surface to be splitted as well, right? So select here, and now click split surface. Now you can see that uh, th there are four uh, 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 four geometries or four uh, surfaces right uh, you can hide these surfaces you can uh, uh, so uh, you know that 
you can hide and uh, right uh, you can uh, uh, rename these surfaces as well right but uh, uh, I'll not rename uh, uh, lastly uh, uh, I will check this box apply now uh, now you can see that uh, uh, nothing has happened because uh, uh, I have to apply some different material to these bodies right so I select here this hard shiny plastic surface and let's say I want this surface to be uh, uh, I want this color or this material to be on this uh, uh, surface right so I drag this to here now you can see that this uh, material is applied on this separate surface right let's say I want uh, this hard textured plastic green color on this surface right so I will uh, drag this material to here now you can see that uh, it is applied right let's say I want to apply uh, some uh, this material uh, purple uh, uh, let's say this material is uh, uh, purple uh, yes uh, so I'll apply this to this top face now you can see that uh, there are four uh, objects and uh, just uh, click a space bar and now you can see that the uh, uh, design tree and uh, you can see that uh, these parts are uh, separated right you can see that I can hide here as well you can see okay so th uh, uh, this is one body and let's say I can hide this now I can show you uh, this one uh, uh, splitted surface, the other splitted surface, the other splitted surface, and one splitted surface was covering all these. You can see that, right? So uh, uh, next is uh, 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 this was uh, uh, pretty straightforward, and uh, just cancel this. And uh, now uh, uh, I'll show you another example, and it was. Uh, uh, I think it was some uh, uh, it was a complex example so I'll, uh, I'll save this let's say I'll change its name to uh, cube and click OK uh, now I'll go to uh, uh, now I'll go to uh, key uh, uh, SolidWorks and uh, let's say I want to uh, open another file and uh, I want to open this file orange right uh, so uh, uh, it is a uh, some complex model to uh, uh, if we compare this model to uh, that queue and let's say I want to apply some uh, different uh, material on this uh, surface and on this surface right so I'll go to uh, here and uh, I'll go to tools, I'll go to Keyshot 9 and I'll send this model to Keyshot for uh, splitting geometry, right? Okay, just cancel this. And now you can see that uh, uh, a model which we have imported from SolidWorks, uh, it is snapped to ground. So let's say I want to apply some material to this object click space bar and uh, if I can hide this from design tree so you can see that a uh, whole material is uh, uh, disappeared because it is applied to the sole object now uh, we can split our surfaces just right click here and go to split object surfaces and now you can see our model uh, let's say I want to uh, apply some different uh, uh, material to this surface so I have to split this uh, uh, body and uh, click here and uh, I will reduce the angle now you can see that this surface is splitted and uh, you can click here, split surface right now you can see that this surface right and this surface uh, you can uh, split this surface as well so let's say I'll go to here and uh, uh, I think visible okay uh, click here and uh, click split now you can see that uh, there are three surfaces one surface in fact just uh, now you can see that one surface uh, the bottom 
uh, this surface and uh, this surface sorry this surface uh, lastly I have to apply this box apply uh, you have to play with this splitting angle and uh, or uh, if you are uh, changing this uh, these surfaces with polygons so uh, I mostly use this splitting angle so uh, click apply and now I can apply different material uh, to this uh, uh, to this model right uh, you can see that in the design tree as well there are three surfaces right let's say I want to apply some black material here and some purple material here and some red material here on this bottom right so you can see that uh, <laughs> it's a bit weird but uh, you can uh, 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 you can apply uh, 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 you can separate your uh, geometry in Keyshot as well if you are not uh, uh, doing this uh, in uh, your CAD uh, softwares, right? Uh, the uh, bottom surface is uh, black because of the shadows and the lighting. And uh, if I uh, change the lighting uh, so that you can see this, uh, this was I think uh, uh, the bottom surface was red, right? Uh, you cannot see because of the lighting. So I think uh, that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you have learned something from this tutorial and uh, uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos in uh, uh, Credible. Thank you.